Welcome to another edition of MCAT Strategy. Today I will be doing the first video on physical sciences. And this video will be on tips to increase your physical sciences score. Physical sciences is one of the more time consuming sections to prepare for if you're not a chemistry or physics major. When coming up with a study plan, a lot of people don't realize this, especially if it's their first time writing. For example, first time writers will often give the same amount of time to prepare for biological sciences and physical sciences. And this is not really a good plan because physical sciences for most people takes more time to prepare for than biological sciences and time wise you can't really treat them equally. So make sure you start your physical sciences preparation early and make sure that you take into consideration that it often takes more time to prepare for than the other sections. This is especially important for people who are weak in the physical sciences. You really need to start with this and work at it constantly and make sure that you give enough time to bring your physical sciences score up. Physical sciences is the section with the most questions that will definitely leave you baffled. Those questions where you really don't know what is being asked. Part of the reason for this is because on the MCAT the test makers will take simple concepts and apply them to complicated situations. So when you come across one of the questions where you really don't know where to begin, make sure you don't get intimidated. The first thing you need to do is realize that you have all the knowledge that you will need from the passage and within yourself. Realizing that you have all of the information that you will need to answer the question is an important realization because it helps reduce the intimidation factor and starts to get you on the road to actually solving it. Remember, the MCAT tests basic physics principles and the question may seem complicated and seem out of your ability to answer but often it really only requires a simple concept to solve. So with all the complicated situations, it really is testing a concept that you already know. You just don't know that it is testing that specifically. So the first step to tackling the question is to categorize the question based on topic, for example magnetism or fluids. After you have categorized the question, you need to start going through your repertoire of knowledge and narrow down the topic that is being tested. After that, you can get more specific and think about the specific concepts that may apply to the situation. By categorizing the question into a certain topic, you narrow down your search for the concept that applies in this situation and the intimidation level goes down as well, which will help with your confidence. In general, as a rule of thumb, you will not have any very involved calculations that require a lot of paper work to solve. So generally, if you find yourself lost in a pile of calculations, then you are likely on the wrong track. This is because a lot in many situations there is a shortcut for estimating the answer accurately or a quicker way to calculate what you need and the question is designed to trap people in calculations if they don't make the proper realization. So in general you will not need to do any really involved calculations that requires a lot of uh, a lot of paperwork. Even if the question did require a lot of calculations, it is most likely not worth the effort because that question is worth the same amount as all the other questions. So, so sometimes it's ju it is just not worth the effort to stop and go through all the calculations and you should skip that question and come back to it at the end. So you really do not want to get stuck on really long complicated calculations because they will drain a lot of your time and make the section a lot more difficult as a result. 
a common question that comes up a lot is whether people need to memorize formulas, and the answer to that is yes. You will need to know the formulas quite well and have them memorized because a lot of the times they will not give it to you. It is a lot of work to memorize all the formulas that are out there, but it really is necessary and is especially important for physics. Memorizing the formulas and knowing them down cold it also helps you with the timing factor of the, uh, the PS section because the physical sciences section is one of those sections that is quite tight on time. So knowing the formulas inside and out and being able to retrieve them quickly will help you to save some time on the questions and help you with your timing overall in the PS section. That's all for this video. Any suggestions, comments, or discussion is welcome. As always, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, keep on practicing. This is MCAT Strategy, logging off.